the Ann Sullivan Macy Act, sponsored by the American Foundation for the Blind. For over 100 years, teachers like Ann Sullivan Macy and students like Helen Keller have been overcoming obstacles, innovating solutions, and forming partnerships. Now more than ever, teachers and their students with visual impairments need our support to ensure that schools are able to provide high quality evaluations and instruction so that all students can succeed. More than 100,000 students in America have vision loss and many have additional disabilities. The Macy Act would ensure that these students are properly evaluated and served in light of all their unique learning needs. Teaching students with visual impairments is not about working miracles, but rather about bringing together students with the skilled teachers and instructional best practices that we know will help them succeed. Anne Sullivan Macy's work and friendship with Helen Keller exemplify this critical relationship. As is stated in the Macy Act, it is clear that America's special education system needs to be improved if the most successful academic achievers are to leave school prepared to be independent and productive citizens. In the photo, we see students involved in a hands-on science lesson, using their senses and the support of a teacher to engage in a dissection. With proper training, integrated lessons like these can become not only possible, but commonplace in our schools. The Macy Act also states that students with visual disabilities must receive instruction in the Expanded Core Curriculum, or ECC, a comprehensive array of specialized instruction and services maximizing the capacity of students with visual disabilities to learn effectively and live both productively and independently. Students with visual impairments need instruction beyond reading, writing, and arithmetic. Schools must also prepare young people, like the two students seen here wearing headphones, to lead productive and independent lives using unique, specialized, and compensatory skills. As described in the Macy Act, the expanded core curriculum includes instruction in communication and productivity, including braille instruction and assistive technology proficiency. Assistive technologies such as the CCTV, shown here, along with other innovative devices, are transforming how we teach and learn. Students must master these new skills while continuing to receive high-quality instruction to support concept development, braille literacy, and other crucial educational building blocks. Guided, hands-on activities are essential to student progress. The Expanded Core Curriculum also emphasizes instruction in self-determination and orientation and mobility. Like the students seen here, all students must be supported to develop confidence and skill with independent living and travel. Success in these areas is a crucial factor as students transition to college and career. Additionally, the ECC includes the areas of sensory efficiency and socialization. Students with differences may stand out from their peers and have difficulty fitting in, even in inclusive environments. With social skills supports, these students can develop healthy strategies for navigating social situations, engaging with peers, and building friendships. Sensory efficiency skills enable students to build on their strengths and resources to solve problems and work independently. The final categories of the ECC include recreation and leisure skills, independent living skills, and career education. Like the students in these photos, shown taking part in supported horseback riding and shopping experiences, all students need real-world opportunities to practice their skills and to become aware of the array of opportunities that exist for engaging in their environments. The Macy Act has an additional focus on supports and training for teachers who serve students who are blind and visually impaired. The Act states, to do their jobs well, teachers of students with visual impairments and their colleagues must be both initially properly trained and continually supported to assist them in dealing with the constant evolution in instructional methods. To meet students' needs, every state and local educational agency must identify and properly evaluate all students who experience visual impairments, regardless of whether the students may have other, even potentially more significant, disabilities. Currently, states may fail to include students with other disabilities in their data collection and monitoring for students with visual impairments. Addressing this discrepancy is crucial to providing equitable evaluations and services. Furthermore, the Macy Act reiterates the vital importance of preserving and leveraging existing high-quality resources so that students with visual impairments do not fall further behind. From our youngest students who are just being identified, to those mastering Braille, to those engaging with the latest technologies, all students need our support. 
Without the Ann Sullivan Macy Act, our nation's special education system will remain unable to deliver on its promise of a truly appropriate education for our kids. Please support the Ann Sullivan Macy Act and ask your senators and representatives to do the same. Find out how at www.afb.org slash Macy Act. Join the 2013 National Call Day on June 27th. Music, Imagine Magneta by Dan O at danosongs.com. Many thanks to the New York Institute for Special Education for contributing photographs for this video. Additional photographs from the American Foundation for the Blind. Copyright 2013. American Foundation for the Blind, www.afb.org.